Hello everyone, my name is Bruno Cala, founder of Auto Palermo, and I'm here today at the Palermo Airport to show you the different options available to reach the city from here. Follow me. The Falcone and Borsellino Airport is located in Punta Raisi, that is 35 kilometers or 22 miles away from Palermo. This is the lobby at the arrivals that you reach once you get out of the baggage reclaim area. To get to Palermo, your first option is a train. As you can see on this advert on your left, trains depart twice every hour from early morning up to late at night and they connect the airport to the Palermo Central Station downtown. This way, you get to the airport station where you may buy tickets at the vending machines for 5 euro and 90 cents. It takes the train approximately one hour to reach the central station. Remember that you can buy tickets in advance directly online on the Trenitalia website. Further down the lobby, you get to the shuttle bus ticket office that represents your second option, catch a bus. Either you buy your ticket here at the office or online, the price remains the same, 6 euro one way, 10 euro round trip. Starting from 5 am up to midnight, there is a bus that departs every 30 minutes. Once you got your tickets, you take the first exit and then you turn right. You then proceed on this sidewalk from which you should be able to see the buses part at the end of the line. It takes approximately 35 minutes to reach the first bus stop in Palermo and 50 minutes to arrive to the central station. This line has 10 stops in Palermo, but only the last three are in the city center, the Politeama stop, the Vuciria stop and the central station that is the end of the line. I wish you to arrive in a sunny day like this one. This is your bus to Palermo. In case you're in a hurry to catch it, you may as well buy the tickets directly on the bus. Enjoy your trip! If you decide to take a cab, you walk straight out of the exit and here you find this sign with a price list. It costs from 40 to 50 euro to reach the Palermo city center and there are taxis always available waiting for you outside. To visit Palermo, you will not be in need of a car, since the city center is well connected and nowadays is for the most part a limited traffic zone, as well as partially a pedestrian area. If your plan instead includes visiting other locations nearby or the whole region, then I would recommend you to rent a car. The Palermo Airport rental car is further down the lobby past the bus ticket office. Once you sign the contract, to retrieve your car, you need to reach the rental car parking area outside the building. To do that, you go to the exit, only this time you turn left and cross the road at the zebra crossing. As soon as you get to the opposite side, you turn left if you book with Avis, Budget or Majore. You turn right if you book with one of the others. You keep walking along this sidewalk and you have finally reached the parking area. You then drive to the exit and just follow the directions to Palermo. Later on, I'm going to make a video about all the exits in Palermo and where they take you to. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. If you have questions, please send me an email at autopalermo at gmail.com. See you soon.